Hello my dear students. Today we are going to learn Aunt Jennifer's Tigers. This is the poem which is written by Adrienne Cecile Rich. Let's go through the details of the poet. She was born on 16th of May 1929 and she died on March 27, 2012. She was born in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. She was extremely resourceful, renowned essayist and feminist, especially. Her notable work includes Divided into the Wreck. She was awarded with National Book Award in the year 1974, Bellingen Prize in the year 2003, Griffin Poetry Prize in 2010. She was one of the most widely read and influenced poets of the second half of the 20th century. She is widely known for her achievement involved in women's empowerment. Students, you need to remember that Adrienne Rich is very famous because of her feministic work. So far, she has published 19 volumes of poetry, three collections of essays and other writings. She was strongly against racism and inequality prevailed in human society and till her death she worked for it. In the poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, the poet describes the oppressed condition of women by males and their dominance in society. Now let's see the title of the poem and it is Aunt Jennifer's Tigers where Aunt Jennifer is the creator of tigers. Alright? And she is oppressed by tigers which symbolizes main male dominance. Okay? And tigers are symbol of freedom which aunt jennifer wants to be see students this is a feministic poem okay and it represents feminine world aunt jennifer represents feminine world and she is critical of male world who terrified aunt much and because of male chauvinism because of male dominance aunt jennifer is bound to create an imaginary world where she is free and the last point is gender conflict. In the poetry, we find there is conflict between feminine world, world of females and the world of men. Students, let's look at the theme of the poetry. The first point says constraints of married life. And this point is relevant to entire globe. Ladies are not happy after marriage. They are under the dominance. There are only few who are able to fight against their uh, operation. Okay. Next point is patarchical power or male chauvinism. It means dominance of male members in family where ladies are not allowed to do whatever they desire. Okay. Their desires are crushed by male members of the family. Next point is individual freedom. Ladies are not free and ladies are represented by Aunt Jennifer. Next point says victimization of women. Ladies are devoid of education. They are devoid of basic facilities that they want. They are devoid of respect and they are made to do the things which they don't want to do by force. At last, art as escapism. Now, this is the only option for Aunt Jennifer to get freedom because practically it is not possible for her to escape from this dominance of her husband. Therefore, she creates tigers or through art, through artwork she finds respite from her torturous life. Students, entire poetry is divided into quatrains. Okay, it means four lined stanza and there are three stanzas. First stanza talks about dream of Aunt Jennifer. Second stanza is about reality of Aunt Jennifer and third is future of Aunt Jennifer. So let us focus on the first stanza now. Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across a screen, bright topaz denizens of a world of green. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. Students, through the poem, the poet highlights the struggles, injustices and oppressions of an apparently upper middle class woman who can express her desire for freedom only in her art. 
Here, although the tigers can be seen prancing about in the panel, they are certainly not real as they have been woven by Aunt Jennifer. They are merely a creation of her imagination. Students, prancing tigers are a symbol of the spirit of freedom within Aunt Jennifer which remains subdued till now. Okay? They also symbolize her desire to shed fear of a male counterpart. A creation of tigers has to be unafraid and courageous. And next point out here is denizen of a world of green. This symbolizes the male counterpart. Tiger symbolizes male counterpart and they are natives of the jungle or the green world. Jungle also symbolizes the wild, the animal instinct of male counterpart. And it also symbolizes the evil and viciousness of the male dominance and jealousy. Next point out here is, tigers are not afraid of men. Okay, it symbolizes that Aunt Jennifer who is very timid, who is very uh, submissive, she is very weak and she has, her creation is very bold. Her creation is full of physical strength and power. So, they do not fear the man beneath the tree. To move to the last line. They pace in sleek, valeric certainty. Now here, the movement of the tiger is sleek, stealthy, sure, majestic and elegant. They are sure of their purpose. They are gallant and confident. They move ahead undeterred by any obstacle or hindrance. Students, just like tigers, even male members want to be the master of their domain. And their domain is their home. Let's move to the second stanza which is Aunt's Reality. Aunt Jennifer's finger fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Students, here Aunt is a victim of gender oppression at the hands of her husband. She feels so nervous and terrified that her hands shake and flutter even she sits down to knit. Even though her husband is nowhere in that room. An aunt is not able to pull that little light weighted uh, needle. It is because of mental suppression and physical weakness. Let's see the third line, the massive weight of uncle's wedding band. Now this expression is symbolic of male authority and power. Matrimony binds the woman physically as well as mentally. Likewise, Aunt Jennifer is trapped in gender oppression and feels herself burdened by the authority of her husband. Last line indicates Aunt Jennifer suffers from implied slavery and feels trapped in something more than gender oppression. Living in a male-dominated world, she seems to have lost her identity. The freedom that she dreams of through her art is itself symbolic of her oppressed self. Students, I hope till here it's clear to everyone. Let us move to the third stanza now. Third stanza is about aunt's future. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid. Students, this is so unfortunate. The kind of life Aunt Jennifer is leading, it has no escapement at all. Aunt Jennifer's death here, it's symbolic of her complete submission to her suppression. It also signifies her state of complete helplessness. Students, here, massive weight of uncle's wedding band. This is symbolic of the operation a woman faces in matrimony at the hands of a terrifying husband. She feels suppressed and trapped in the unbreakable bars of matrimony represented by the wedding band. 
she cannot liberate herself from the harshness and bondage of matrimony students aunt jennifer is terrified of her harsh callous unfeeling and domineering husband whose wedding ring is still there in her fingers here aunt jennifer is extremely fearful of her husband which is going to outlast her body and life she is also afraid of the bondage that her marriage has turned out to be students what kind of ordeals what kind of operations she was made to experience is not mentioned in the poetry but we can easily understand that she suffers from matrimonial operation and her personal liberty and spirit are constricted by her unfeeling and dominating husband and she is compelled to suffer her ordeals in silence students in this poetry ring has different meanings okay the image of a ring is very prominent it is because at first it means wedding ring which permanently binds a husband and a wife but in the case of aunt jennifer it proved to be burdensome restrictive and oppressive in this stanza it means surrounded or bound by together with mastered it invokes the image of a circus ring which aunt jennifer's married life has proved to be and where her master is none other than her husband and she must carry out his orders and stay in constant fear of him ringed also conveys the idea that aunt jennifer's personal freedom and expressions are curtailed students in these lines the tigers in the panel will go on prancing proud and unafraid we find a dispassionate and unconcerned attitude of the male towards the desire for freedom among women aunt jennifer dreams of her escape in her art but lands of producing the very image of her separation as an expression of the spirit aunt jennifer's art will survive long after her death but the social milieu remains unaffected arrogant and ferocious students he had to create tigers and not any other animal it is because they are totally contrast to aunt jennifer's personality who is submissive subdued whereas tigers are full of chivalry full of bravery full of courage students after reading the poetry we do sympathize with aunt jennifer it is because after entire efforts she was not able to get rid of this male dominated society students we find aunt jennifer as an oppressor as well it is because she paved a way for oppression by quietly accepting her slavery if she would have raised her voice against it maybe she was out of her bondage by now but she accepted it and it paved way for the disastrous torture in her life students there is a strong message for our society and that is to treat both the sexes male and female equally we can claim that our society is progressing but even after getting education to ladies in some of the countries they are depressed and they are dominated and social media is full of images where we can see domestic violence so this need to stop and we need to create a world where value is given to both the members male and female in the society students there is no doubt that women are given education and liberty to live in modern world but not that respect which they deserve with every rape case with every domestic violence and eve teasing cases the insecurity increases and the wings of freedom which is given to ladies becomes weak and we can fight against humans but not animals concealed in human appearance students we need to educate our 
female members of the society it is because educating one lady means educating one entire family and they are the one who provides strength to entire family and later on it creates a strong nation let's move to the images and symbols that are used in the poetry first one is symbol of tigers which represents strength power and bright topaz the color of this gemstone is yellow and the same is the color of tigers uncle's wedding band this is symbolic of the matrimonial operation next device is images first one is fluttering wool and by this we are made to imagine a weak lady who is trying to pull the wool with the help of needle and next one is ringed with ordeals this image is used by the poet to express the struggles of the spirit racial and religious injustice and oppression that aunt jennifer suffers next literary device is reputation and aunt jennifer and tigers are repeated to create a horrifying ambience of the oppressor and the oppressed students we must remember that tolerating torture is also a criminal act because it promotes criminals for multituding their act last literary device is alliteration and f sound is repeated in fluttering fingers and p sound is repeated in prancing proud and in this poetry we find rhyming scheme as a a b b c c and so on at last students we must understand being educated once that domestic violence is a crime and we should voice against it by this we have completed the poem i hope it's clear to everyone if you have any queries you can drop a message in the comment section or in my whatsapp number we will meet in the next video till then take care stay safe thank you everyone